Unlike most of what you see on television, because of the unique situation we have with a talented photographer, a talented graphic artist, and a talented graphic coordinator, we are able to portray our program in a way that's much different than most other programs that you see. Shooting for TV, you have, you have restrictions. You have, you're shooting for a three by four ratio. Four parts across, three parts up. You're still shooting for that box, right? And you're shooting, and you know you're, you're, the, the photo is gonna be put on videotape. So videotape sometimes hides a lot of things, mistakes or whatever, but also shows a lot of things. Plus, the bumpers for any show or logo or whatever have got to, have got to come across within three to five seconds at the most, at the most. Every TV show you watch has a bumper, but in our case, we've exploited the whole uh, concept and used it in a very uh, creative way. Uh, we've developed a, a concept that doesn't have a logo for the show. There's no logo for the Letterman show. It's just a, it's a title, and we tr we integrate the the title of the show into different uh, natural elements, like on the side of a beer can or on a frozen food box or on the side of a museum or uh, on a poster that's stuck on the side of a wall. So uh, it gives our uh, viewers something to look for. First shot is uh, we have to shoot someone spray painting the wall on the bed, standing on the bed and shooting on that. Ed Hall is the Which visuals coordinator on the show and his function is robe? to is put the, to combine Pook and myself and the and the needs of the show and uh, help us uh, pull together all the elements uh, at the same time. Let's do it like he's you know from here and maybe across there like that. Okay, let's do it a couple of ways. That way you know we we're covered. Now the food the food's gonna be here in a second. I think we ought to do it like right around here. And then we can also use it in the other shot, too. So let's get the food done first. We'll do the thing with the menu, with the champagne and all that. A lot of times the human elements that you see in these bumpers are my, my own human elements. So the, there's a photo of, my, of a guy standing on a scale, and so those are my feet. And then there's another shot where a guy's holding a deck of cards, and that's my hand. Another guy with his feet up in front of a TV set, and those are my feet laying under the covers and the whole thing. So we just, we usually just take the closest uh, prop that we happen to have, and that's usually uh, either the, uh, the hands and feet of one of the three of us that do these pictures. But one night we were doing a shoot uh, and, uh, of people on the street, and what we did was we attached two strobes on the side of a station wagon that we had rented for the shoot. So we had this station wagon rolling down the street with these two strobe heads on the side with me sticking my camera out the side and Ed was driving the car and Pook was looking for shots as we drove along the street. It didn't really work too good because somewhere in the village, well, I'm not going to say where, but we're passing these group of people and we started snapping away because it looked like, you know, kind of desolate stuff. And they started running after the car and pounding on the car and wanting to, you know, tear the film out of the camera. Ed's uh, panicking and having to drive up on the sidewalk and run through red lights. And I mean, we're all saying, Ed, turn right, turn left, turn right, go straight, speed up, do this, do that. But he did an excellent job of getting us away <laughs> from that situation. It was, uh, was kind of hairy. We gotta make it look sloppy, like, you know. I think we can do that. That's gonna be difficult. Okay. Uh, beer to make it look like champagne? Where's our champagne? Uh, we should get real champagne. People can tell. Order, champagne. Two bottles. I got the late night champagne bottle, but we have to order champagne. 
Now this stuff is for the is for the shoot. We, this is it. Yeah. Okay. Like don't eat too much. But we must we must oh, eat. Oh, Save some of these. Things. Okay. Oh, that, whatever that is. Uh, oh. Would, you like a Would you like some chicken? Come on. Put some of that stuff on the on these little plates. Is there more food? Well, yeah, move this back here so we get this plate in here with the, you know, yeah, the, all, the, all, all, all the food and stuff on it. Like it. Throw this in here. Okay. All right, one meter, though. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's throw there. You ready? Fine, go. Okay. One more. That's fine. I think we're there. All okay. Right, let's, do let's, do let's do it. Let's do it. Any true late-night aficionado will recognize the bus shots that appear frequently on the show. Photographer Mark Carson has a special interest in buses because he also works for Winston Network, where he's created Street Fair Journal, an editorial series that explores and expands the possibilities of creativity in transit advertising. But that's just Mark's day job. At night, he trashes hotel rooms with Pook and Hall on behalf of David Letterman. We'll worry about that when the print comes back. It, uh, you know, I'll figure that out. That doesn't matter. Let's do it. All right. Hi, guys. Hi. On hey. to bed. Right? right? In the corner. Okay. You're spraying the wall. Oh, get a uh, spray can. Yeah. Spray can. Yeah, right there. Don't spray. Just it's act only, like it. Only pretend. Let's okay. face it. We can't spray paint on a hotel wall. We are a national TV show. We'd get into a little bit of trouble. Right? So things like that have to be added. We add the graphics onto the print instead of putting the graphics into the photograph. So if, it, if it's easier to, uh, say, paint Late Night with David Letterman onto a print instead of painting onto the side of the wall of a hotel room uh, and cheaper and going to keep us out of trouble, then we we'd simply make a print and just airbrush or a uh, hand letter or draw or use some sort of graphic material to to put the title of the show onto the actual print itself. So when the photo's up for three or four seconds, uh, you usually can't tell how the graphics are applied, whether they're in the photo or whether they're on the photo. Spray can out, out, six inches away from the wall. That's it. Excellent, excellent. I think we've got it. That's yeah, that's it. Good. That's good. <laughs>